They are brainwashed. They are programmed. A fost doar un copil, am avut 12 ani. Da, eram de o sclavă pentru ei. Sunt domnișoară, am 15 ani și eram fost sequestrată de către un domn. A venit, a venit, a venit repede, vă rog. I have 13-year-old girl right here who's desperately trying to get back to her 52-year-old lover boy. Have you got some clothes? Where's your clothes, more importantly? This is a rescue mission. So there's four Romanian girls in there, all basically in the lingerie. It's just being used as a brothel. 24 missed calls. Police suspect the women have been trafficked to the UK and forced into prostitution. They take them to safety. Who does she pay the rent to then? Uh, that girl is back in Romania. Do you know her name? But the girls won't say they've been trafficked. And because sex work is legal in the UK, the officers now have no choice but to take them back to the house. This is a familiar story. I've come to Romania to find out why so many girls are being trafficked and why they're so reluctant to accept help. Okay, you come in. At this children's shelter, they've all been lured into the sex trade by traffickers pretending to be in love with them. The lover boy method is the most horrible method of recruiting girls. There are recruiters in the schoolyards. They talk to the girls. This guy comes and tells them, I love you so much, you are so beautiful, you are so smart. They want to believe it, it's easy to believe. I have a 13-year-old girl right here who's desperately trying to get back to her 52-year-old lover boy. When she runs away, she tells the police, I want to go to my lover boy. He's 52 years old. I love him. They are getting younger and younger. The younger the girl, the easier it is for the trafficker to scare her. Now we have girls as young as Girls as young as 12, when they get to us, they started at 10. With the girls groomed from the age of 10, their distrust of police starts long before they reach the UK. I've come to meet a family with a remarkable story. They're celebrating. Their daughter Andrea has just returned home after being trafficked three years ago. Andrea's parents say they knew who'd taken her, but the police wouldn't help them. La poliție când mergeam, nu auziam decât că ei nu au ce să facă, că nu au personal ca să poată să meargă să o, să o caute. Mergeam, ieșeam în oraș și o căutam cu mașina. Eventually, she decided to rescue her daughter alone. She arranged to meet the trafficker by setting up a fake drug deal. Deci aici e locul unde... Am găsit pe porbagajul mașinii și a deschis porbagajul, a tras-o jos. Ea era drogată. Vreau să vă spun că în porbagaj era drogată, nici nu putea să stea în picioare. Nu știam cum copilul meu era acasă și cum am găsit-o. Can you imagine? Somebody go to the school, take your child, you go to the police, nothing happened. You go next day to the city and the drug dealer smiling in your face. 
How do you feel? The local police force have told us they did look for Andrea and they referred her case to a specialist anti-trafficking team. But then came a case that shocked the country. A 15-year-old girl was kidnapped on her way home from school. This is the call she made to the police. Sunt domnișoara, am 15 ani și ieri am fost sequestrată de către un domn. Vă rog veniți repede, nu știu unde sunt. Ai fost violată? Da, am fost violată. She was repeatedly asking Will you come here? Will you send somebody to save me? And they were mocking her because she didn't know where she is detained. Police didn't trace Alexandra's phone call. It would be more than 24 hours before they entered the house. By then, she'd been murdered. The policemen in Romania, they usually don't pay much attention when a girl is missing because they think it's about human trafficking and the investigation ends here. How do you feel about the way the police have handled your case? What's happened to her trafficker? Nothing. Nothing happened to the trafficker. I mean, the mother went and, and uh, filed a complaint. Where is he? But he's at home, doing fine. Yes, in my opinion, he should be charged and sentenced. He's 52 and she's 12. What needs to change here, Diana? <laughs> um, trafficking, it's an organized crime. The income is high, the risk is low. But if you reverse the equation and you put them in jail for a long time and confiscate everything they have, then it's not going to be that easy to do trafficking. I think that they will think twice. Over the past year, the Romanian government says it's made efforts to tackle trafficking. There are now tougher sentences for trafficking children. But on the ground, it's made little difference. I get a phone call from Andrea's father, who's working in London. Hi. Oh. How are you? How is your daughter? They took her again. We find out they are the same guys. It must be so hard to have this happen again. Yes. We sold everything, our company from Romania, to save our daughter, to stay home almost two years to stay and save my daughter. So the minute you left, they came for her? Exactly. I feel angry because I hear this